10 things I love about the Peloton Bike Plus. My personal favorite feature on the Peloton Bike Plus is the metrics. And when I say metrics, I mean specifically the power output and the zone. So when you're running the Peloton Bike Plus, you get your power output measured here in watts, and it also tells you what zone you're riding in. However, before you can get your zones, you have to do the FTP test, which if you have not done the FTP test, I kind of recommend you do it, and I kind of recommend you don't, because ever since I did the FTP test, I basically become obsessed with my FTP zones. Here you can see I'm in my zone three. And monitoring your power and your power zones during a ride makes a huge difference in your training. Also, I love that the power output is displayed right here on the screen and it is very instantaneous feedback as you change your power output, as you change the resistance and change your cadence. This is very instantaneous uh, feedback update. Also in terms of metrics on the Peloton Bike Plus, I love that it displays your resistance right here on the screen and it updates very quickly as you adjust it with the resistance knob. Also, I love that it gives your cadence right here on the screen, very easy to see, and it updates instantaneously as you change your cadence. There is basically no lag to speak of on the Peloton Bike Plus for cadence. I also love that it gives you your heart rate right here on the screen. And I also love that it gives you your total kilojoules output right down here, and it also shows you over here on the leaderboard, but more on that in just a moment. The second thing I love about the Peloton Bike Plus is the resistance knob, which might kind of sound silly, but this resistance knob changes extremely quickly and easily, you can literally move it with your pinky. And also, not only does it look nice, but it feels nice to the touch as well. The reason why the resistance knob moves so easily is because it's controlled by a digital motor on the Peloton Bike Plus. As I move the resistance knob here, it moves the magnet stack here by the flywheel. And there is no physical connection between the resistance knob and the magnet, so this is done by a motor. And that leads me straight into the next thing I love about the Peloton Bike Plus, and that is the auto follow feature. I made a total separate video on how auto follow works, so you can check the link in the description box if you want to see all of the details. But essentially on the Peloton Bike Plus there's this little lock button and as you can see right now my resistance is on 76. The instructor is calling for between 30 and 45. If I tap this it's going to change my resistance to go in that range. Auto follows on. Resistance is changed to 43 smack in the middle. It also shows you a little progress bar on the interval there you can see the yellow line going around and after that's complete that means your next resistance change is going to happen. I don't want to go into too many details on the auto follow feature because like I said I have a whole separate video on it but if I were to crank it up a little bit here up towards say 50 on the max end of the scale um, when that resistance number changes for the next interval it will automatically put me towards the top end of the resistance level and I could do the same thing if I went down to the lower end. When we first got the Peloton Bike Plus, I thought this might be just kind of a little cheesy feature, but I actually love the auto follow feature. The next thing that I absolutely love about the Peloton Bike Plus is the drivetrain feel. This bike feels amazing to ride, and it is by far one of my favorite bikes out of all of the bikes I've reviewed. The drivetrain on the Peloton Bike Plus simply feels amazing to ride, and it is right up there at the top of my list. I'm not sure if it's the flywheel mass, the flywheel radius, the magnetic resistance, the bearings, the belt, whatever it is, the sum of the components on the Peloton Bike Plus makes this machine feel excellent to ride. The Peloton Bike Plus isn't exactly 100% silent. As you begin to turn that flywheel faster and faster, this machine will begin to whine. And frankly, I love the sound of the whining noise the Peloton Bike Plus makes. Maybe the machine itself is crying a little bit, just like your legs are. The next thing I love about the Peloton Bike Plus is the leaderboard, and it is not to compete against other people. I actually find this bike pretty irrelevant in terms of competing against other people, and I wish they would bring back sessions. But the thing that I love about the leaderboard is it shows your own personal record and where you were in that record in that ride right there as well as what your kilojoules are in your current ride. Right now I'm not riding this ride so my kilojoules is at one because I haven't made any progress but on my PR for a 30 minute personal record on a 30 minute ride which is what I'm doing right here my total kilojoules was 327. Up here at the top of the screen we can see that we are 21 minutes into this ride and there is eight minutes and 45 seconds remaining. And on my PR record of 327 kilojoules, I was at 234 kilojoules at that point in this ride, and you can see it going up. So what this does is it allows you to compete against yourself. 
Basically, it allows you to compete against your ghost for your PR. So if you're going for a personal record or you want to compete against yourself, this number right here would ideally be pretty close to where your old PR was. Maybe you would see you're winning by a little bit or losing by a little bit. And personally, for me, this part of the leaderboard is a really big motivator to do better and better every ride. Although I should mention not every single ride you do should be going for a PR. You do need to have some chill days, but you know, when you're ready to get out there and set a PR, this right here is big time motivation. The next thing on my list of things I love about the Peloton Bike Plus is the filtering system. In this video, I'm gonna talk specifically about cycling, but there are all kind of workouts you can do on Peloton. On the homepage, it'll show you the most popular stuff and also your daily picks, you know, stuff that's recommended for you. But in addition to that, you can go over and search by instructor. You can choose from your favorite instructors. You can go by class length, which is really awesome. So if you're feeling a 20 minute ride or a 45 minute ride or just a 10 minute quick workout, you can filter your classes by that. Another thing you can filter by is class type. So if you have some favorites, like for example, I love power zone rides. I love climbs. I love the high intensity interval training, which is listed as intervals. Whatever kind of class type you would like to do, there is all kind of classes you can choose from. Additionally, you can choose by music genre, such as rock. For example, the other night I did a 90s rock ride with Dennis, and 90s rock is just one of my favorite genres. Also, you can choose whether you want weights or no weights on your ride, and you can filter by new or trending or popular, top rated. The filtering system on the Peloton Bike Plus is great. And because Peloton's been around for a long time, there is a lot of rides to choose from. And on top of that, they are adding new rides all the time. As you can see, this was added three hours ago, 11 hours ago, yesterday at four, just all kind of new stuff all the time coming up. Another thing I love about the Peloton Bike Plus is the speaker system. On the front of the screen, you have these forward-facing speakers hidden behind this beautiful cover. And the forward-facing speakers make a huge difference in terms of sound quality. Just in your face, sounds great. But in addition to that, there's speakers on the back as well as subwoofers, and the sound quality you get on the Peloton Bike Plus is really, really good. I also love that the Peloton Bike Plus included this 3.5 millimeter audio jack right here on front. So you can plug in your old school 3.5 millimeter headphones and just in case your AirPods or wireless headphones are not charged, you have this port right here, easily accessible. And I use this port pretty regularly because the sound system on this thing is pretty loud. The next thing I love about the Peloton Bike Plus is the workout history. Not only does it give you basic stuff like how many active days you've had recently and your riding time and the days you've rode your Peloton bike on, but also when you click on workout history, you can go over here and look at your individual workouts. And at first glance, you can see how many kilojoules that you output for each of your rides. And in addition to that, you can click on the ride, like here's a Tabata ride I did the other day, 210 kilojoules, and it shows you all of your metrics here, total output, distance, calories burned, average resistance, but the really cool stuff that I like to look at is your heart rate tracked over time. So it shows you your heart rate zones, where you're at, where your heart rate's dipping, where the heart rate's going up, and you can scroll down and look at where you were at in the zones in terms of heart rate, what percentage of time. And then you can scroll down here and look at the really cool stuff, which is your power output, your cadence, your resistance, and speed. Since this was a uh, Tabata ride here, uh, that is basically like high intensity followed by taking a break, you can see my power output spikes and drops, spikes and drops, rest period, spike drop, spike drop. So that's Tabata for you. It shows you your average watts, your best watts output, best cadence, average cadence, best resistance and average resistance, and speed is listed, although I find it to be pretty irrelevant. And really one of the cool things besides just checking your most recent output and what your stats look like for that ride, you can scroll back deep into your history and look at your output of your old rides and see how, how you used to perform and then compare those metrics to how you do now. And basically, you can track your progress over time. And since it's all listed right up here on your tablet, right here on the Peloton Bike Plus, 
is super easy just to kind of stand here by the bike and just kind of hang out post ride and scroll through your metrics and check out your old stats and how your new stats add up. Another thing I really love about the Peloton Bike Plus is the whole convenience factor. Yeah, it costs a lot of money, but you know what? I really love the convenience of this bike. The tablet's right there. You don't ever have to worry about charging it. It's always just gonna be ready to go. Basically, just throw on your shoes. If you can remember to have your water bottle on here and filled up and remember to keep a towel handy and your heart rate monitor nearby, all you gotta do is just basically get on this bike and you're ready to roll. A lot of the other bikes that I review, you have to remember to bring your own tablet. You have to remember to keep it charged. You have to pull up that app and load up all the apps and stuff. Peloton Bike Plus, super convenient. Just get on this thing and you're ready to go. The next thing that I love about the Peloton Bike Plus is the appearance. This bike looks absolutely beautiful in my opinion. The smoked out gray that you can kind of look through and you can see those magnet stacks right there. The flywheel looks beautiful. It's very simple and clean. The color of the frame and the Peloton logo. This fabric feel on the back of the speakers back here. Even the little details like the Peloton logo here. It looks like a fresh piece of clothing. The fabric up here covering the speakers. Really just everything about it. I think the Peloton Bike Plus is a great looking bike. Another thing I love about the Peloton Bike Plus, or any indoor cycling bike for that matter, is the way these bikes make you feel when you're riding them. And when you finish a ride, they really can just give you that runner's high and just make you feel great about life. Just really get the juices flowing. You know you're doing good things for your body and you know you just feel great when you ride an indoor cycling bike. So that concludes my list of the things I love about the Peloton Bike Plus. Please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to check out the eight things I hate about the Peloton Bike Plus. I have a link to that in the description box below this video. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe, click like, and I'll see you in my next video.